In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the text join function in Google Sheets. What the text join function does is it combines together text from multiple strings or arrays using a delimiter that you specify within the arguments of the function. In other words, it combines text together with a certain separator that you specify within the arguments of the function. So it kind of works like concatenate, except with this you get to choose the separator that separates each text value. So this is the basic syntax of the function here. The first argument is the delimiter, and this is the character or string that you want to be placed between each text value. Most commonly, you're probably going to be using a space, and sometimes maybe a comma here. The next argument of the function is called ignore empty, and this is going to be set to either true or false. This controls whether empty cells in the arguments are used in the result. So true is going to ignore empty values, while false will include them. The next two arguments is called text1 and text2. Two. Text2 two is optional. Text1, this is the text that you want joined together. So it can either be a string or an array of strings. And then you can also add additional strings or arrays of strings as this optional text to argument. And you can continue on and add different text if you want. So this is the basic syntax. Now let's take a look at how to actually use it. So in this first one, I'm going to do text join. And then again, the first argument is our delimiter. So what do we want to separate our data? I'm going to do a space as my first function. So in quotation marks, I have a space. The next one is, do we want to ignore empty cells or not? I do want to ignore empty cells, so I'm gonna set it to true. And then last, the range that contains the text that I want combined together. And so this combines this text together by a space and ignores the empty cells. So I'm going to copy this formula, paste it here, and this time just to show you the difference, I'm going to set this to false. So do not ignore the empty cells. And now you can see the only real difference between these two is this one included the empty cell here. So there's actually two spaces if you can notice that this gap here in this one is a little larger than in this one. And then lastly, my last formula, instead of a space, I'm going to do a comma, just so you can see the difference. Oops, okay, comma. And so there it is, you can see my delimiter argument is now a comma and instead of a space this just adds a comma in between each of my text values so this function is pretty easy to use it is kind of like concatenate except you can automatically choose which delimiter separates your text values so that's it for this video if you have any questions just let me know thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.